it shouldn't surprise anybody, but it's still astounding. To me, it's so astounding that it doesn't collapse the markets. I mean, he's saying, hey, we're in very big trouble. We're going to do something unprecedented, and we believe it won't hurt the dollar. And yet the stocks say, hey, we love this stuff. But the dollar didn't do so well today, and the real value of the dollar is measured against gold, and gold skyrocketed from its very low to its highest. It was like a $60, $60 ship. So it means that we're, we're weakening the dollar. We're trying to uh, liquidate our debt through inflation, and the consequence of what the Fed is doing is a lot more than just the CPI. It's all to do, has to do with malinvestment and people doing the wrong things at the wrong time. And believe me, there's plenty of that. And the one thing that Bernanke has not achieved that frustrates him, I can tell, is he gets no economic growth. He doesn't do anything with the unemployment numbers. And from my viewpoint, I think the country should have panicked over the fact of what the Fed is saying that we've lost control and the only thing we have left is massively creating new money out of thin air which hasn't worked before and it's well, not going to work really this time. the biggest unintended consequences what we need is uh, a restoration of confidence and if the fed is expressing lack of confidence and they don't know what to do uh, I would say that it doesn't do anything to restore confidence. And like you say, people might restrain from doing anything. Uh, interest rates are low. I don't have to buy my house this year. Uh, you know, uh, I'll, I'll wait till next year. I'll maybe we'll have, it might be a little easier. The prices might come down. So people are restrained. It's, it's sort of opposite of when you expect that housing prices are going up and you're afraid interest rates are going to go up. See, that's why the market rate of interest is so crucial. The, the rate of interest should give the businessman the investors, the entrepreneurs, and the savers information. But there's no market to interest rates, and that's why there's such gross distortion and why we don't have a market economy. We have a rigged economy through central economic planning, by central banking, and the whole system is failing and was doomed to fail, and we have to wake uh, up to that. I don't think he should raise rates. He should just get out of rigging rates. I think the market should determine it. It should determine on savings. You know, I, the system is so biased. It helps the bankers who get free money, and then they buy government debt. But what about the people who are frightened? They don't like the stock market and they're frugal and want to take care of themselves. And what do they get? 1% on a CD? That's unfair. And, and it's, it's bad economics. So you want to let the market determine the interest rates and let it sort it out. And people get so nervous because we've lived so long with a Keynesian economic model of fixing interest rates and intervening in the marketplace. The market still works. We allow the market to work in so many other areas. Commodities basically yeah. are determined by markets. But it's when it comes to the price of money, uh, people think it's inconceivable that you could allow the market to determine interest so rates. The that is why the debt and interest rates would rise. All of a sudden, the burden would be on the Congress to get their house in order and to restore confidence. But uh, even that, I mean, that would panic a lot of people because that meant... You mean live within your means? No, we don't like that. We like this idea that we can give people anything they want for free so we can get reelected.